In this video, we are going to talk about the Intel's Core M-5Y10A and Core M-5Y10 processors. Both these processors belong to the Broadwell series, which is the successor to the Haswell processors. Uh, the Broadwell processors, the main difference is it's made with uh, 14 nanometer lithography which is an advancement in the manufacturing technology and that's what brings a reduced power consumption and a little bit of increased performance for same clock frequency. Uh, Intel has done away with the core i3, core i5 and core i7 nomenclature starting with Broadwell. They have a new Core name and that they are calling it as Intel Core M. So we will see the different series of Core M. The one that we are observing is a Y series, and these two processors, 5Y10 and A, are belongs to the Y series, which are basically a very low power processors. Uh, if you look at their TDP rating, they stand at 4.5 watt, which means uh, there is no fan and there is a minimal amount of uh, heat sink cooling. We possibly cannot do totally away from heat sink because that will require it to be under 2 watts. But if you keep a very thin uh, heat sink, you should be good with that. So uh, these are dual core processors and they have 800 MHz base clock frequency in 2 gigahertz of turbo clock frequency. The turbo clock is important because that's what determines the speed in case where you suddenly open a, an application for a short duration of time. You have enough clock speed and enough power. You have two cores running at 2 gigahertz that can run like a 40 seconds or so, which is good enough for most of the applications to open up. And that's where Core M processors are great for uh, tablets. And so far, the initial benchmarks show that the Core M processors in Broadwell series they outperform their nearest uh, uh, competitors by a good margin. Of course, they are slightly thicker. And uh, uh, note, but the iPad, the the iPads or their equivalents, they are going to be a little thicker. Now, in terms of the, the good thing about this is that Intel has Intel HD graphics 5300 into them, which means they have a fairly good amount of uh, graphics performance and you can play mid to low end games in these pretty well. The processors are going to be used in uh, low end notebooks as well. and we expect them to be very popular in thinnest possible uh, laptops and we expect that Apple's Air uh, or Apple's uh, thin laptops will be the first to use it. So that is all about the Intel Core M-5110 and 10A. We do not know any difference between these two at this point. As Intel's website say absolutely no difference between these two processors, but we assume that its 5Y10A is an upgraded silicon revision of 5Y10, and in due course of time, Intel may abandon 5Y10. If we have anything, we will update it in the comment section below. Thanks for taking a look.